Question number eight. The cash price of a gas cooker is Kenya shillings 20,000. A customer bought the cooker on her purchase terms by paying a deposit of 10,000 shillings, followed by 18 monthly equal monthly installments of 900 Kenya shillings each. Annual interest compounded quarterly was charged on the balance for the period of um, 18 months. Determine correct one decimal place the rate of interest per annum for max. Now we're supposed to get the rate of interest per annum and this is uh, compound interest. Uh, one thing you're supposed to know in this question to make it easier to work with, uh, we're going to use the compound interest formula. That is the best uh, to use in this question. So the compound interest formula is supposed to be amount is equals to principal then one plus rate divided by 100 everything raised power n where uh, we need now to get this to identify what is the amount in this uh, question what will be the principal what what will be n the period what, then you're calculating the uh, the rate now the price of this gas cooker is 20,000 the customer bought it by on higher purchase but first uh, made a deposit of 10,000 so the balance that remained would be the principal. So the balance, the balance after the deposit. Uh, so the cooker is twenty thousand, but there was a deposit of ten thousand shillings. So the amount that remains is ten thousand shillings to be paid, and this will be the initial amount to be paid. This will be the principal. So after identifying the principal, we need now to identify the amount, the amount paid. And this is where you're going to get the amount. Um, the balance was paid was uh, repaid by 18 monthly equal monthly installments of 900 shillings each. So for 18 months each month, and so the amount to be paid will therefore be 900 times 18 months. So this is the total amount that will be repaid for those 18 months. So when we multiply this, we get uh, 16,200. 16,200. So this will be the amount. Now something else that is remaining in this formula is N. And N is the period. Now we are given the question that this one is uh, annual interest. And uh, we are supposed to get the interest per annum. The amount is to be repaid uh, in 18 months. Uh, 18 months is equivalent to one and a half years uh, which is the same as three over two years and since um, this one is to be paid quarterly we to get the number of periods eh? you know in one year we have four quarters four quarters so we're going to take these one and a half years we multiply by four quarters because in one year there are four quarters so we get how many periods uh, we are going to use in this question. So this one will give 6. So n will therefore be equivalent to 6 because in one year we have 4 quarters. Now we have everything. Something that, that we need to do here is uh, to note that for the rate uh, we are going to divide the rate by 4 because this rate that is given if we let r to be the rate per annum therefore in order to get the rate for quarterly you know the interest will be paid quarterly on quarterly basis so we have to divide the rate by four so this will be r divided by four over 100 and uh, that is uh, what you're going to use in this question now we have everything now what you need to do is to substitute everything in the formula and calculate the rate so amount is uh, 16,200 is equals to uh, principal is 10,000 shillings and then um, 1 plus uh, rate is uh, r divided by 4 over 100 and uh, the period is 6. So that is what we're supposed to do. So we start by dividing. If we divide both sides by 10,000 shillings, we will get uh, 1.62 is equals to 1 plus uh, this one will be 
if we divide this r divided by 4 over 100 this will give r divided by 400 divided by 400 raised to power 6 so that is what you're going to get let me use the space below here simply use the space below here there's no problem now having that uh, to get um, these are because we want to remain with our this side we shall get the sixth root of both sides so we get the sixth root of um, we get the sixth root of this side this is a six one point six two and then when we get the sixth root of the right hand side one plus r four hundred that will disappear we remain with one plus r divided by four hundred so now we need to get this one using calculator the sixth root of one point six two so the sixth root of 1.62, which will give 1.0, let me calculate 1.084. 1.084 is equals to 1 plus r over 400. Like that. Uh, then the next thing you're going to do, now we can take um, this one to the other side like that when you subtract that we will get a 0, 0.0 uh, this will be 0 0.084 is equals to r over 400 and therefore to get r r will be given by 0 0.084 multiplied by 400 which will give uh, the rate Here we'll give um, when you multiply these by 400, you get uh, this one is 33.6. 33.6 remember, we're supposed to give correct one decimal place 33.6 percent, and that is uh, simply how you're supposed to work out that question. Uh, by first identifying uh, this uh, formula, the compound interest formula, what is the amount, what will be the principal, and what will be the rate, what will be the period that you're going to use, and uh, finally, we've got the answer. So that is how I was supposed to solve that question.